Hello and welcome to Agrarian Skies B Edition. I'm Mara28 and I'm probably going to go crazy by the time we're done here. Just letting you know. Uh, I've taken the past few days off of recording stuff mostly just because I've been really exhausted after getting off of work and to be honest, I figured it wouldn't be fun to uh, listen to me force myself to record so you know what, let's uh, figure let's take a day or two off and I gotta tell you I think that was a really good choice because I am ready to go. I am so ready to go that I've actually put some work into things ahead of time to get things ready for this. I present to you the B Base 2000. It is uh, part of my regular base, not 2000. Uh, essentially what I have over here is a small little storage area for BB supplies. Uh, we have a small little ME subnet here. This just has a uh, compact chest here made for the storage of bees. Go figure. Uh, we have a storage drawer away away array here that it's connected with a drawer controller to the uh, me network so we have access to all of this stuff from a crafting thing here so that's that's handy um, we have some filing cabinets inside of here we have some genetic templates these are blank and we have some gene samples i've been going through and collecting these for the past few uh three hours or so and i think we have enough stuff built up that we can actually do something interesting now uh the top one's empty and then we also have an array here of Gendistry machines. The top three here are not actually hooked up. The protein liquefier, the replicator, and the DNA extractor. These are currently DOA. Uh, what these would let me do is once I get a full, like say a genetic template, I could actually build my bees just using DNA and uh, protein. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it is not happening though, because it takes a lot of power to run these things. It takes two and a half million RF to make one bee. And I believe it only makes ignoble. So that's a. Uh, it is useful. It is, however, not going to be happening. At least not in the, not in the immediate time. I'll tell you, what, let's go ahead and sleep this away. Uh, so what I have been doing over here so far, I've just basically been uh, breeding a bunch of bees together to get materials so that I could throw them away. Um, I have gone to the end to get some end bees. And as it turns out, these things take dragon eggs. And I have a dragon egg in the end, and I would like to keep it in the end until I absolutely need to move it. So they're pretty much useless to me right now. Uh, what I have been doing is actually getting forest drones and sacrificing them to this thing right here. This is a genetic sampler. And what it will do is it will take a gene sample and it will use a genetics lab where here, so these are disposable. And it will take a trait from the drone and put it onto the gene sample. And what I've been looking for is flowers. So right here, tolerant flyer false, that's actually really bad. That means that it doesn't do anything in the rain. We want it to be able to work in the rain. Uh, yeah, and unfortunately these things, uh, it's kind of a lottery as to what you get, but what we're looking for is flowers. Humidity tolerance, none, that is also bad. These are all bad so far. Uh, so like I said though, it's a bit of a lottery to get what you want. Chewing up all 10 of those forest drones did absolutely nothing for us, unfortunately. We really do need to get the, uh, thing for... Really do need to get the flowers thing, though, because right now I can't grow those end bees. I don't really need them, to be honest. I just would like to. Um, also of no, let's see. Let's check this out. I had made a tropical hive. Let's go ahead and break this thing open. And let's see. Scoop 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 there we go just bash this thing open with any luck this will be better than the previous one we got let's see what we got here ignoble stock and okay so that's actually not good the ignoble ones they actually die out plus they don't go so well through the gentry stuff they have a chance of dying uh, let's see though short lifespan slower production slowest pollination flower type jungle that is a uh, fern or vines and affect poison. Poison is a bad, bad, bad effect. <laughs> um, usually you can mitigate that a bit, and these will grow and they'll grow. They'll live in warm or higher, so the warm or hot or damp or wet environments, but they don't like normal, which is what we're in, so that's not too helpful. Um, and this should be the exact same thing, just in princess form. Yeah. All right, so do we have anything over here in the way of, see, fertility four, that's good. Both one, both one would be good. 
need temperature. We need uh, temperature down one. No. So I can make it tolerate the humidity, but I can't make it tolerate the temperature. So we can't actually do anything with these guys yet. Uh, what we need to do is find a bee that has a... Let's check these out real quick. Because I think the forests are none, none. Yeah, they have no, no tolerance whatsoever. They just need normal. All right. How about you guys? Just taking one so that if I identify it, it'll uh, the rest will still stack. So no, this guy won't do anything either. All right, so what I can do for now is I can sacrifice this tropical on the altar that is the genetics template. Um, it's very tempting to try to get the uh, tropical species off of this thing. However, the chances of that actually working are very, very rare. I think there's 13 possible things that it can get. For Well, I think it's 13 different chromosomes is what they go by. If we, if we go by what the template has here, it can go for species, the day-night thing, Flowers, speed, cave dwelling, lifespan, all that. Um, so it's it's a bit of a crapshoot. We don't really want to take that chance. Uh, it would probably be more useful to me right now to combine, I think it's the cultivated... Let's see. Is it tropical and cultivated? Let's check this out. Use. Let's see, tropical and forest gets common. Tropical and... Cultivated tropical gets sinister. Sinister, I think, requires the nether. You know, I have no idea what the Edenic bees are. I know there are some bees that give you XP, but I think that might be an extra bees thing. Yeah, I, I have no idea what they do. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll we'll sacrifice it. Actually, no, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna turn it into a common, right? So we're gonna use the tropical princess. We are going to grab a uh, meadows drone, and then this should produce a common. Oh, you need mutagen. So for mutagen, I've been using glowstone dust, right? It takes uh, five glowstone to make enough mutagen to make one B. And it takes a good amount of power. Uh, luckily, I've uh, bumped up my power storage a little bit. Uh, this is tied into some solar panels we have here as well as my main network, so I can't do too much of this. Once it reaches saturation, it's not going to be that bad, but until that point happens, it's a bit of a power sink. All right, so we have 200, just got a little bit more to go. I wish this didn't cost so much power. Uh, so yeah, for redstone, you can get 100 per redstone. You can get 1,000 per yellorium. It's very tempting to do that. And it takes a million RF, regardless of the recipe you use. Um, glowstone block is 800. Black redstone is nine. So yeah, you get more per glowstone than you do per redstone. And Eulorium is the best. Yeah, because right now it's taking me five million RF to make one B plus whatever this is. Whereas I could make it down to uh, just one million for the mutagen and then whatever the B cost is. It is very hard though to justify taking fuel away from that reactor. Unless I can make bees that make fuel, but I don't think we have that in this. Alright, it's almost done. Alright, so we have cultivated. They are doing their stuff. Oops, I need the honeycombs. I've been going through so many honey drops and stuff, it's not funny. Just identifying stuff, making sure things are where they go. Do you stack? No. Okay, we could probably sacrifice the unusual to the uh, genetic scraper. 
These are pretty much just Croft. We don't need them. All right, so that made a common queen of ignoble stock. So we're going to put her over here. I need a new apiary. Just one. All right, let's go ahead and put her over here. And we'll sleep the night away just because night does not do a good thing for bees yet. Uh, the reason why I wanted to grow these end bees, by the way, was because once I get enough of them, I'll be able to funnel them into the scraper here and get the nocturnal effect. I could use the industrial apiaries and stuff to just like get around all that, but that quickly increases the power consumption of them, which is why I'm not using them right now. That's why I'm still just using regular stock, um, stock vanilla forestry. I do have an industrial apiary over here. It takes uh, 20 RF a tick as is, and it's, I'm not sure honestly how it is on power, but I don't really see a reason to use it yet. Besides, these don't have that great of a lifespan anyway, it's almost dead. Uh, what are we gonna get from this? Species unusual, I think I have that already. Cave dwelling false, so that's terrible. I mean this in the nicest way possible, that's terrible. Um, let's see. Common and cultivated. Yeah, we'll save. I don't really need to save that. I have so many cultivated, it's not funny. If I get the ability to make it go on flowers, it'll be worth uh, keeping. Yeah, we have so many of those, it's okay to scrape it. Temperature tolerance, none. You are no boy. Oh! Okay, there we go. Temperature tolerance, none. Cave dwelling, false. Get you back. Species unusual. Do I have one of those? I do. Okay. I'm uh, right now for this little ME network, I'm currently using up three channels. I'm thinking I just want to put storage buses on these guys too just so I can uh, access everything through one little terminal here. It'd be really, really easy. It might make it a little bit of a uh, pain in the butt, though. I think it would probably... If I do that, I think my best bet would be to uh, have two different terminals, right? So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. I can have one more terminal that just gets me access to this stuff, and I'll filter out everything else except for the samples and stuff. And this one will filter out the samples so we don't see it. But right now, searching through each of these for their stuff is just annoying. Are you dead yet? Why can't you have a shorter lifespan? Um, right about now, I would love me some Oblivion frames. I had thought that I had gotten something like that in a reward out of a uh, book, but I, if I did, I probably destroyed them. This is why you don't destroy anything ever. All right, so we're back. I've done a little bit more work here. Um, I now have a noble queen, even though it is from ignoble stock. So it's a ignoble noble or a noble ignoble, whichever you'd prefer. Uh, I made this using that ignoble queen, ignoble common that we had made, and I combined it with a cultivated drone that we had. Uh, what we're going to try to do, this might actually kill this thing is add a genetic template to it. Uh, first, let's go ahead and analyze it. Short lifespan, slow pollination. It's relatively low production of uh, drones. And it makes uh, dripping combs. Uh, what we're gonna do though, we're gonna go ahead and put it into the genetic imprinter. And what's this? This is effect none, fertility four, tolerant flyer. So that's pretty good. Uh, we're going to add that to the Noble Queen here, just... Oop. Yep, okay, that was right. And then we're going to put the template in there. I think there's a chance this can kill the bee. I hope it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't. Um, but what it should do... Actually, this may not work, because I don't think it's going to affect the offspring, will it? You know, I really don't know. 
I really, really don't know. All right, Noble Queen, Ignoble Stock, Tolerant Flyer, and now it should put out four drones, right? Yeah, okay, good. That's much, much, much better. Okay, so we'll leave her over there to do her things. We'll get a few more of these frames. I need to uh, get another bee villager again. And it is not worth sleeping the night away because it's almost day. Okay, so they should be picking back up any moment. You know, I did all the prep work for this stuff, and it never occurred to me to check this freaking quest book to see if any of this stuff was required. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and check this stuff out. Um, so I had mentioned earlier I made a hive synth whatever to make bees. So it's going to give me another one and a rewards bag. I think we're going to go for the uh, we're going to go for the meadows hive. All right, I made the industrial. Apiary, and it's going to give me 15 proven frames. That's nice. Uh, I don't have the inventory space. Um, we'll go ahead and dump that in there, and the... No, why won't that let me claim it? I can't seem to claim it. If I make an impregnated frame, it'll give me three oblivion frames. I think we need to do that, like, now. Um... I made all of these guys, so that's good. It looks like one of those templates had something on it. Valiant day night, humidity tolerance both two, temperature tolerance both three. Oh wow. Tolerant true, fertility three. All right, so we'll save that. We'll save that one. See, this is why this thing's awesome, right? These things don't stack in my inventory inside the filing cabinet. They do, except if they have different MBT data, in which case they're separated out like that. So this one's actually really nice. If I can get the humidity tolerance and the temperature tolerance off of that, that'll be a good basis for a... Uh, a really good basis for a general purpose... Oh, nice. Crap reward, soybeans. It is a cent it is especially crap now that I can actually make uh I can actually just buy the flowers. I don't need to uh use those. Alright. So further meddling, we have made those. Get the blank gene samples. Um this gives us a VA Perry booster and a reward bag. You need Wisp, Enchanting Drop, Destabilize, Mesh. Um, I have enough to make the mesh, actually. I just don't have any of this stuff. It will not let me claim the reward on this. Don't know, what up, don't know what's up with that. Alright, but I have made a grafter, and it's going to give me an industrial grafter and a reward bag. Mm -hmm. We're upgrading the apiaries, it'll give us a trialyzer and a hell emulation upgrade. Then give me a light upgrade and a reward bag. No, I think our immediate goal is going to be a uh, making some impregnated frames. Just need to make one impregnated frame, actually. Uh, let's see, how do you make? So I need impregnated sticks, right? Yeah, around string. That's just wood in there with seed oil. And we have sticks, or at least we will have sticks. Gonna need a lot more wood, holy cow. Oh my, you've not died off yet. <laughs> okay, there you go. So it looks like, no, it did pass on from the, uh, it did pass on, so that's good. There's our, uh, grafter thingy. You know, I need that back. Because I have hives to open. Hooray! Alright, um, let's open up the reward bag, too. 
Fishing rod. Oh, this is that fishing rod. No, we're not using this thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get this out of here. Um. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That is the fishing rod from Mine Factory Reloaded that explodes. So yeah, we're not using that. Okay, so we have a good amount of hives to break, actually, so that's pretty nice. Let's get that in there. You know what? I this The apiary thing is bothering me. Why won't it let me collect that? Now let's try. Give me the loot, please. Wait a sec, wait, 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 wait. It's going to give me them individually, right? So I don't have anywhere near enough inventory space, according to what it thinks we need. Called it. All right. So proven frames, right? So you should please all go in there. 42, that's a great number of them to have. All right, let's make ourselves another Franken bee. Um, so to make a, uh, what is it, the Imperial bee, I need a Majestic bee. Majestic? Which is a Noble plus a Cultivated, and then there's a chance to get Majestic. So we don't need to inoculate Valiant anymore. We're going to inoculate one to Noble. We don't want to look that way either, because that'll be a headache waiting to happen. All right, so we want to check out what pristine bees we have. Um, let's see. Ender, Princess, Meadows. Let's take one of the Meadows. And then basically once this is done, we're going to shunt it down in here to the Mutatron. Fertility for ah. Are you done? Yes. Noble princess. Please give us what we need. Be what we need you to be. Alright, so Majestic Queen. Alright, so we have a uh, Majestic Princess, purebred, and then a... Majestic Drone. We are then going to go ahead and combine a Majestic Drone with another Noble Princess to get Imperial. Uh, we're going to make an actual... We're going to make another one, basically, because I don't want to lose the Majestic Princess. I'd like to keep a breeding set. So this is the one that's going into the Coke Shop. Um, let's see. Christine. Uh, we're going to use the meadows again, I think. Let's see, this is already set up to make noble, so that's good. You're going to go in here. Flowering slow. So not useful. Alright, so we have our pristine noble princess, which we are now going to combine with the majestic drone. It's very majestic, it's, it's an awe-inspiring sight. I think we need to make another... Uh... Oh, I have some here, never mind. I was going to say, I think we need to make another apiary or two. Or five. So.
so many apiaries. All right. This will get us an imperial queen, your majesty. You have a front side seat to the poppy. Do whatever it is you have to do. For tomorrow you die. I lied. You die today. Why are we getting regen? Oh, is the Imperial Bee giving regen? I, t I totally didn't know that. That's, that's awesome. Might have to set up a few of these next to a blood magic thing. Oh, we got a diligent queen. Do 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 da 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 I'm so excited, I'm so sorry. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Alright, so we're almost to my goal of having both industrious and imperial bees. Uh, got the imperial going. They're actually already doing their stuff, making me some royal jelly. We're going to need a ton of that, by the way. And uh, I have a diligent queen here who we need to die, unfortunately. Um, basically, what we're going to do, the same thing we've been doing with the other stuff, we are just basically going to uh, kill off cycles of the bee until we get enough to create clones of it. Oh yeah, we need to also give this one the fertility boost because that is not acceptable. I expect a certain level of standards from my bees, and that is not it. I think it is that magical time. We are almost to the end goal. Um, let's see, I need to get some bees. There they are. My little diligent babies. Right, I'll need one of you. Alright, so... I have a nice little concoction here that I can use. It's, uh, oh, of note, I actually ended up getting a uh, speed fast, so now any of my bees that make, they have the uh, fast speed on it. I got those off of my cultivated bees. I didn't realize they had that trait, so when I was just cycling them through, I got that out, so that's pretty nice. Uh, it's not quite fastest, but, you know, it's uh, I'm not going to complain. Um, so, okay, so we have an unweary genetic template right here. We're going to go ahead and turn this wintry princess into an unweary. And then we're going to combine the unweary princess we get with this with a uh, diligent, and that should get us our industrious. If we are so lucky. After that, it's going to be a matter of me setting those up for basic automation so they cycle in and out so that we can start stockpiling on pollen and on... Uh, Royal Jelly, or whatever it is, so that we can make alfieries. That, however, is not going to happen this episode. We'll be doing that a little bit later. I need a bee break after this. I need one heck of a bee break. <laughs> uh, this episode is approximately uh, six hours in the making. Yeah, so... Ah, uh, Industrious Queen, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. You don't work at night, though, because I didn't inoculate that template with day-night. <laughs> That's okay. Alright. Save, 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 save. There we go. Alright, and please die. I mean, you're beautiful, but I want you to die. And... Dead. It's not dead yet. They're quite industrious, as it turns out. I love the regen effect off of these Imperial Bees. I gotta find a way to use that. Alright, so industrious, we got two, we got two. So it's it's not, it needs the full gene treatment, but so far it's doing good. Uh, let's check this out. They are pollination speed fast, so that would actually be good for uh, trees, I think. I think. I don't know if butterflies are better, though. Production speed slower, fertility too, so that's not so great. Lifespan normal. Um, no tolerance whatsoever. They produce pollen clusters. Hooray! And then they can be further branched out for... Uh, what can you make these out of anyway? Let's see, icy, agrarian, cuprum, so I, copper, stanum, I don't know what that is. Tin maybe. Ferris. Aluminum, Ardite, Stabilized, 
be stabilized. What do you do? Redstone. That would make sense. Alright, but the good news is we have industrious bees. They are fantastic. Where is our blank template? Right here. Yeah, so this is a, uh, a weary template that I made. So as long as this one does not have the species on it, it will not override it. It also does not have effect none, so we, w we want to leave effect missing and species missing. Other than that, I need to upgrade the heck out of this template. Uh, basically, we are just going to ensure that our bees have the utmost chance of progressing and living and thriving in a other ho otherwise hostile environment. Uh, we can go ahead and put the uh, princess in there too. And luckily, that is pristine. Uh, cave dwelling falls. Um, I need to get the cave dwelling strain on these guys. Um, I think the only way I'm going to get that is probably from another bee. So that's going to be a little bit of work out of me yet. Let's go ahead and put that away. Alright, so that's almost done. Alright, so now this is a production speed fast. That's good. Pollination speed fast. Flower type flowers. High fertility. Okay lifespan. Uh, it is diurnal, nocturnal, and a tolerant flyer. It just needs cave dwelling on that and it'll be good. And it also needs to get humidity tolerance. I'm still working on that. <laughs> and this one is its perfect match. And I gotta tell you, right now, I owe this all to these Oblivion frames. They have knocked so much time off of what this would have taken. They are fantastic. And now when this dies, I should end up with uh, four drones. These guys right here are the ones I've been trying to get the uh, humidity tolerance off of. Go ahead and analyze this. Because they have both two, so they can take two humidity up and two humidity down, so they're actually really nice. I've just had no luck getting that one specific uh, trait. I'm thinking that it might be slightly more rare, or it's just a case of the fact that random is indeed random, and it is a pain in the butt. Of course, if it gave it to me right now, I would be so ecstatic. That's, that's not going to happen, though. Uh, anyway, I want to go ahead and thank you for watching this very bee-heavy episode of Agrarian Skies 2. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment in the uh, section below. And I will see you next time with a little bit more of the uh, industrial side of bees, with a, uh, perhaps a side of automation instead of just playing creation. Until then, though, I have got to uh, take a break before I go crazy.